are wolves moving into populated areas or are people encroaching more on the animals' territory? Castanet has received reports in recent months of sightings of the predators in the central Okanagan. Over the weekend, a hiker came across a pack of six while in Black Mountain Park. I was pretty shocked to see them that close to Kelowna because, yeah, I didn't think that they... Yeah, they were essentially just outside the city limits uh, when I was, like, where I was hiking. So, yeah, it was pretty wild. That story prompted another man to share a video and photos he took on January 19th of either wolves or coyotes dragging a deer carcass across a fairway at Black Mountain Golf Club. That was Thursday, and I've just been sitting on the photos, and then I saw all these things about Mm -hmm. wolves up in around my area, so it got me thinking more. You know, more and more people are choosing to, you know, live, work, play and grow food in wildlife habitats. So, you know, of course, naturally, uh, this will increase the potential for more human-wildlife conflict, you know, with wildlife and, on occasion, um, wolves. Coyotes are a much more common sight in the Okanagan, so how do you tell the difference between the two species? Firstly, wolves are larger than coyotes, and they have broad paws, like a broader snout and rounded ear tips. And when they run, they tend to carry their tails out behind them, unlike coyotes that will carry their tails downwards. Now, coyotes are typically smaller than a wolf, um, and, and they have like a thick, bushy, black-tipped tail. And again, when they're running, it's carried down. Um, And a few wolf safety tips. Well, if you encounter a wolf or a wolf on a kill, they may become defensive or territorial. So you want to slowly back out of the area without running or turning your back. And always a good idea to carry, to have bear spray, know how to use it, and ready to deploy. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.